The Bully and the Can Queen, Part 2. Recycle your cans here, it said in big red letters. Support our fundraiser. That weasel was stealing the cans and bringing them here, Shannon said. Tara kicked the boys who teased her and said snotty things to the girls who wouldn't let her play hopscotch with them. And yeah, she had stolen the cans from the school, but donating them to the Y seemed kind of nice. Criminal, but nice. Stealing our cans is low, even for her, Shannon added. But they're not our cans, I muttered. Shannon shot me a look. They're not, I blurted. We only wanted to help the environment. It doesn't matter who gets the recycling money, does it? Shannon didn't say a word as we trudged home. At school the next morning, both Shannon's and Tara's seats were empty. I gulped, picturing Shannon alone with the bully. Tickle torture. Noogies. Nothing was too awful for that kid. But then, just as the bell rang, Shannon slipped into the classroom with Tara. And they were smiling. Huh? Suddenly, Mrs. Yim's voice boomed over the loudspeaker. Students, our recycling program has been a great success. Friday will be our school-wide pizza party. The whole class cheered, except me. I was still wondering how I'd stumbled into some alternative universe where Tara the Terrible and the Can Queen were pals. And next month, Mrs. Yim continued, our recycling program will benefit the YWCA's fundraiser to build a new playground. Keep up the good work. My jaw dropped open just in time for Shannon to notice my confusion. I called Tara last night, Shannon said. Once we stopped yelling at each other, she told me about the YWCA. Her mom works there. They help lots of needy families. Yeah, Tara piped in. With the mouth's mouth and my power, maybe we can, you know, do stuff. Good stuff. Then Shannon leaned over to me and whispered, You were right, Jody. I just sat there gaping like a goofball. The bully and the can queen. Business partners? Tara, a bully with a heart of gold? Or at least aluminum? Me, right? Tara glanced at me and grinned. So close, I could smell her strawberry lip balm. Cautiously, I smiled back. Maybe things really were going to be different now. Then, Shannon slipped a note onto my desk and another onto Tara's. I have an idea. Unbeatable kickball kickers, I read. First practice at lunch. A new idea so soon? This was fast, even for Shannon. I glanced up just in time to see Tara give her a high five. Yep. Things were going, definitely going to be different. Elizabeth Defner, The Bully and the Can Queen, Spider, April 2014.